normal in politics because uh, like I said if there's going to be any election so many people would indicate interest to contest various positions therefore there are bound to be clash of interests and when that happens we go into fierce battle for one person to emerge and uh, once that person emerges normally every other person will yeah, collapse. We have done a lot. First and foremost I must commend the leadership of the party in the local government because uh, it is because of their resilience that we are witnessing this type of um, mild crisis in the local government. I call it mild crisis because if it were not because of their experience and like I said resilience, a lot of things worse than what has happened yeah. would have happened. That is it. So for now we are doing everything we can. We've set up a reconciliatory committee and uh, they are they've just been inaugurated and they are taking off trying to make sure that the warring factions of the party are brought together so that the party can still move forward. Okay, sir. Will you recent development of acrimonies and hatred and... We, we are lucky to have won the House of Rep seat for Anuacho Ushimini. And uh, glad enough, the member representing us as the member elect is uh, not attached to any faction okay. so because of that we we take solace from there because definitely uh, whatever development uh, is going to attract to the local government will continue now we go to the uh, man in the house of assembly we won the elections very well and i hope that by the grace of god too with time all these wounds would have been healed and uh, we're going to come elections we won was supposed to be a healing balm for all the crises that had come up. But, but you see, some people took it further than it is supposed to be. That is what is happening. And I know that if we recall, by January 2018, when this new council came on board, um, if I don't know whether you are aware that somebody left his own portfolio as a member representing us and went ahead to do the services of uh, the duties of the local government council chairman. So that has hindered development and movement and development in the local government. And um, from the report I have, the councillors uh, decided that enough is enough. That one man cannot hold the entire local government to ransom. And that is coming from the leader of the legislative arm of the council. He recollect that by 2018, the budget of the council was not passed until September. And uh, only God knows how the council was able to move on. So this time around, the same problem has erupted again. And uh, somebody is saying, we, we are not going to pass the budget to, until so many things happen. But some good counselors amongst them decided to take the bull by the horn. And then they said, this man, you cannot continue to hinder the development of this local government. Step aside and let somebody else come in. So if, I, 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 so I guess now that the fresh blood has been put into the system. The local government is the third tier of government. Even though in the constitution that we operate, it was not clearly stated. But definitely the local government is the grassroots oriented government that you know gives us accelerated development at the look at the grassroots level. And if because of the law, uh, 
funds don't treat them as they are supposed to be. Nothing will move. So this recent development is a very welcome one. However, I believe that some amendments must be done to the Constitution to enable it to move on well. Because uh, we cannot, you know, because you want to cure a sick child, you use drugs that are not supposed to be used. It will become a, a, a more complication. So definitely, I've given them our mandate to take charge of our state. In the area of the governor, I will encourage him to do more. You know, because um, he, will, he should remain more focused on um, the projects on ground that are not yet completed. He should be able to complete them and then initiate new ones so that the people, the, the ovation that is on now for him will continue. Deltans will be happier because he has promised us better days ahead. So we want to see those day, better days. If we talk about zoning, it brings peace. When PDP came on board in 1999, 98-99, if there was no zoning arrangement, even though it was not written, it was a gentleman's agreement. A gentleman's agreement. Yes, the robot son came up, chief, on an February, and the mandate was given to him to rule Delta State for eight, years. for eight years. And after him, Delta not said it is our turn. But Providence said, no, let the South have, have it first before the North. And then the South had it for eight years. Now, Delta North is having their turn for another eight years. If, for, you know, equity and their good conscience to continue, the Central should have it for a second time. So that it will continue to rotate like that. And I pray that nothing will truncate that arrangement that has been his opinion. But it is the collective will of the people that will determine who gets it. But for me, I will say Delta South, sorry, Delta Central should have it because Udua is from Delta South, even though he's an, a Chekiri man. When it comes to the other uh, turnaround, then the uh, Ijaz or whatever can now tell their brothers in that same senatorial district, oh boy, when I don't do now, oh no, it's our turn. Uh -huh. But not in the general aspect of it, where we're talking of three senatorial districts. There are some, some, some matters that are in-house matters. Yeah. When that hour comes, they can do that in their own senatorial district. So when they come up, they tell us, ah, we have chosen an German to go, we'll support them. Because it is uh, an agreement all of us have, you know, reached that will be rotating it for equity and good conscience to guide us. For example, he has started some roads, so many roads, you know, projects are on. And uh, when he commissioned the Obomba uh, uh, road recently, he assured us that he was going to continue that road and complete it. And we're looking forward to that. There are some schools that need renovation. He has also promised us that he will do something. So we are looking for, you know, his name is Sekwemi, and we are sure that he, he has never forgotten Anyocha Channel, and he will never forget Anyocha Channel. That is it.